Youth Sports kicked off their first summer sports camp where campers were given a shot at learning how to dribble a ball, shoot a ball, and different basketball stances such as a triple threat. But the camp wouldn't have been the same without the help of volunteer coaches working within Marine Wing Support Squadron 171. I learned a long time ago becoming an NCO and things like that on how to lead Marines and uh, how to be flexible when you're dealing with different types of personalities and different types of attitudes. And I'll be honest with you, coming into this environment where you're dealing with kids, you got to be a lot more flexible than you do when you're dealing with Marines. But with that being said, given that experience in the Marine Corps and how to deal with adversity and things like that, it made it a lot easier for me to come in here and deal with these youngsters and be an influence to them. The coaches provided guidance and influence to the kids by using their own experience with basketball. Basketball has played a big role in my life because growing up, it taught me teamwork and how to share and how to be a good role player and team player. Basketball, actually, in my life, it plays a very big role. Uh, I played professional basketball before I joined the Marine Corps. Played on the All-Marine basketball team for about two years. So uh, basketball means a lot to me. It's actually a love relationship for me. So. After three basketball field days, both the coaches and kids were able to leave the court with a sense of accomplishment and pride. My favorite part about coaching the kids is the uh, fact that when they're looking at me and I'm, and I'm teaching going. them, they're looking up to me, not physically, but they actually feel like they can learn something from me. And I don't take that for granted. I think that's a, uh, that's a privileged position to hold. And knowing that when I leave this camp, they're going to utilize skills that, were, that, that I taught them. That's a, that's a big thing to me. So. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan, a Marine Corporal, Jennifer Rocha.